Welcome back everybody. This time we are going to have a look at Takara Cards. Takara Cards is a roguelite turn-based sci-fi card game that also features RPG elements. And frankly, this is a game I had on my radar for quite a while. Unfortunately, I missed a little bit um, the release date, which was the day of this recording, like just two weeks or so ago. But when I looked then, after, after, to the Steam page, I thought, even though this game released, and I always had this, like, um, at a side glance on then um, in my eye, and then was like, ah, okay, no, I missed it. I saw that this game currently, which is released, is available in early access, link is as always down in the description, has only, like, 19 reviews at the door of this recording. And I feel like just from the looks of the game, that isn't enough. So I reached out and luckily, full transparency here, I received a key by the developer for Well Takara Cards. I did play the training. And now, without further ado, this, this is all I did. We're going to have a look at it and experience our first impressions together. And as always, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. But now, finally, without further ado, let's jump into Takara cards and see what this truly is about. I saw, yeah, I like the version number 0.83b, Polishing Lava. I, I guess... I'm not sure if this is just a random title name the developer gave <laughs> for the version number or if there even is some love in this world. Oh yeah, um, just from having a have, having had a look, oh man, you can see my English is on point today, um, of the Steam page, it seems like there's elves, orcs, humans, so all our uh, normal fantasy races are here in this, well, clear, clearly space sci-fi um, universe. And I think um, the boss enemy or the one we are chasing or something is like a literal dragon probably like a space dragon as well i don't know let's find this out together hit play let's see um oh where do we want to go i want to take this slot new journey continue new journey we can't continue that makes sense about character creation in addition to species and appearance you will also choose your reputation and with it your starting karma Karma influences your attributes and fate. All actions brings karmas, which attracts events and eventually forms new reputations for your character and ship. These reputations attract more events, creating a cycle. Okay, I guess that means that is like the rogue light element. I get it. Okay. Addition to speed, I mean, you will also choose your reputation with your starting karma. Karma influences you. Okay, good to know. Thanks. Character creation. So species, choose species. Each federation race pilots its own type of ship. But choosing the species, you also define the ship you will pilot. Well, let's see. Under development, under development, under development. Yeah, we have dwarves. All right. Okay, currently it seems like only the dwarves are available. Fair enough. Okay. Dwarves, which has, I guess, the hammer ship originating from the Tempestuous oh God, planet Kurunitu. The children of Ninkazi are known for the impetus. Every destroyed enemy feeds their potential, just as all wasted energy discourages them. Okay, I don't understand that, but sure. Semblance. Is that, uh, I guess this is just our appearance, right? Got it. Well, wait, we gotta choose this character because that's the one on the cover, so I expect this to be the main character or something. Info Codex, let's go Info. About character creation, okay, what we just read. Codex, Karma Codex. Mission Briefing, Icons, oh god, that's a lot. STG interface, combat interface, whoa, oh, no. Let's not get overwhelmed yet. Reputation, starting reputation. In addition to its own effects, every reputation comes with a karma. Karmas add up and get stronger, sometimes enhancing the effects of reputations. All right. Sure, crate deck. Golden's Cradle Ridge. Plus one luck. After every jump, earn 300 money per rich thing. Born Seller. Karma Intuitive and another symbol. Oh, why is it? Oh. Plus one Sweet Talk. First sale of equip. Um, this symbol earns plus 30% of the value in XP. First equip. Sale in... Okay, this is so many icons and terms. I have to admit, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. I don't understand half of this. Proud genius. Rational. Learn faster. Plus 25% XP, I think. On every XP gain. Double training cost XP for common maneuver. That seems 
let's go with that. Naive prodigy plus one intelligence. Mental ancestry. I love this symbol. Guts. Gain impetus after using scrap. Chance to gain when collecting scrap. You know what? I'm gonna go with this. More XP seems easy. I can understand that. Great deck, question mark. You can start with a ready-made deck, varies with species, or build your own. Ready-made, recommend for all beginners. Yeah, let's go with a ready-made um, <laughs> deck. That seems that seems like a good way to go. Let's start the mission and see what this game's... So oh, that was a pop-up. That just disappeared. Draconian signal locked. Nine jumps left to destination. Good luck on your exploration internship, cadet. Explore the cosmos and karma fully, but remember your mission. Find the whereabouts of the dragons. Details of your mission can be found on the codex. Explore the cosmos and karma fully. Fully. Oh, cosmos and karma, I guess that is... And karma, that's a one thing? Okay, we can answer. There we go with some uh, RPG mechanics. Oh, cursed, earn credits. Guts, earn credits. Rational, earn credits. Well, what do we want to answer? <clears throat> With my focus and discipline, question mark? That's a matter of time. I will explore to the ends of karma to find them, sir. May I get rid of my bad omens when I find them? Um, focus and discipline. I, it's just a matter of time. Let's go with that. All right, we are a little bit more rational, it seems. Okay. Even though I said I played the tutorial, that was essentially just um, the combat phase, as far as I did, um, understood that. So this is all new to me. Hammerhead punch. Every turn start. Guild. Hammerhead punch. Gear 3, I guess, damage forward. Move ship forward. Impetus, loaded, exhaust, common. That's a lot of text. What's this? Equipment deck. Maximum capacity, 1 out of 6. Influence, grab capacity. Also, what I immediately noticed here in this menu, it's surprisingly quiet. A little bit of background sounds of music would be nice. Ship hull, 6 out of 6. Ship shield, 0, 6. Batteries, 3, 3. Scrap cargo. We can have up to 47. All right, dwarf's impetus zero. Destroying enemies gives me uh, gives me more impetus. Passing a turn with any battery or energy left over, we lose impetus. And impetus gives bonuses to some, I I don't know cards, maneuver stack. Press to manage them. Q. Manage maneuver stack and use six minimum. Okay, let's not go. That's a little bit too much. Shuffle test. What is this shuffle test? Okay. Sure. Karma Codex. Combat interface. Yep, this is what I've trained. During a jump, the interface changes a little. On the left side are the cards in the middle of a tactical grid where you can analyze and act with these cards, okay? Yep. STG. Warm up STG engine. I don't know what STG means. Com. Communication channels. Accept message. And this is attributes and reputation. Press to view. Reputation limit 1 out of 5. I mean, this is glowing too. Attributes. Your attributes are derived from the karma of your reputations. Luck, one. Mischance, one. Divine Mercy, one. Selfless, one. Intelligence, two. Nice, because we have a little bit more rationality, because this is intu intuition plus rationality. Okay, got it. And sweet talk. Also, there's a knack level, which is at zero. Almost no experience. Cards are not influenced by knack or attributes. That re this game really has a lot of text that it just throws at you. That is, that's a lot. Text and, and terms and words. I'm sure. This, I mean, communication channel, yeah. Engine cooled. Next jump loaded. Sector report. High amount of mana detected. Traditional camera generated. Account credit 1000. Coordinates received. Finished communication. I click this. No. Okay. Communication channel. Accept. About the communications panel. You can get in contact with space stations and other signals to train maneuver cards. Repair your ship, among other things. The signals you find will vary from sector to sector. Can get in touch. Can I go uh, now? The signals to train maneuver cards. Okay. Train maneuvers with pathfinders. Communication channel. Press close. What? What is going on? So we have this, costs two energy, deals one damage and swaps and or swaps a dragon with ice. Fire maneuver. Deal one damage on highlighted tile only and tiles with enemy. Swap posi uh, position with enemy. Okay, got it. Select. Q, I guess, to go back. Or human reflex. Okay, we can choose a card. What if I do this? Giant's savings. Okay. Uh, oh, whoop, we're searching cards. In addition to direct, directly buying you cards, you can also search for them. Okay. Pay for info and equipment and maneuvers from the Pathfinder and Mana Guilds. 
Use search to attract these cards to you. They may even come for free. It's karma. Okay, ask around for equipment or maneuvers. So am I supposed to... Can I do everything or do I have like limited things? So right now, maneuver stack, we have... Where we can buy scrap. We have this maneuvers thing. We ha can ask around. Buy for the merchant skills. Sell equipment. Can we only do like a selected amount? Or could, could we potentially do all of these things? Golden horse. <laughs> Repair your hole with a centaur certified by the golden horse. Conversion rate. One scrap equals 104 money, I think. Experience points, knack level, and money. I think. Galactic credits, yeah. Well, we don't have any... We have three scrap, apparently. Currency. Giant savings. One, cur one scrap for 76. Buy scrap, sell scrap. Why is this different? Oh, this is currency. Oh, this is how much it costs to repair one piece of hole and holes our HP. Makes sense. So I haven't fully understood what I'm doing here with the training. There's a train button. Now there's different cards. There, human reflexes. Buy a maneuver. Exhaust, neck, common. Train. Okay, if I press train, nothing happens. Select. Exhaust cards. Do I just drop user experience? Well, I don't have experience, right? I don't think I can do anything here. Hmm. Ask around for equipment or maneuvers. Well, this costs 67 credits. No, we do have a thousand. Only dwarf headbutt. Only in tiles with enemy. Move to highlight that enemy. If you move, gain plus one half. Neck uncommon. Okay, we can choose up to 12. Headbanging. Ancestral miners. Requires positive impetus. I have no name. Move to highlight a random tile. I could jump to random empty tile. Swoop attack. That's a lot of stuff. Sandwich. Let's go with this one. Can I now? Wait, wait. Why did this value change when I clicked on the headboard? Wasn't it 67? I swear this value changed. Am I going crazy here? Some cards you search will now appear in stores. The amount for this influence were locked. So I'm searching with this card. Count debit 68. Data recorded. So that means I could potentially buy that card. Right? Buy from the merchant. 2,000. We can't afford any of those cards, can we? No. Apparently not. Even though this is highlighted. And this, for example, is not. I don't understand. There was a pop-up. Guild products are tested on all affiliated chips. Okay. Let's assume I don't want to do anything right now. Because I'm a little bit overwhelmed. What am I supposed to do? Press to close. Distance to draconian signal. Measurement in parsecs. Direction locked on signal. Alright. That's a little bit of planets. I'm clicking. We have our menu. Start screen. Wait, that should be the main menu, right? I don't want to... How do I get close options? There we go. Okay, uh, warm up the STG engine, I suppose, about the jump panel. The jump panel shows the available star destinations to choose from. Each star on the panel will contain combat info, number of units, turns and its environment, signals presented in the landing sector. Once the destination is chosen, the jump starts. Okay, why is this, this going up? Starting point of the route, full stop draconian signals. So, um, this is our overall journal. Got it. Jump. 19 units, 2 turns. 24 units, 3 turns. Meteor field, open field. Nearby signals, mana guild, merchant guild. Nearby signals, queen of scrap, pathfinder guild. I have no idea. 24, 3? Sure, let's go with the longest one. What is going on? Hey! Alright, now we are on our way and we're in combat. Doing our travel, I suppose. Okay, this is our ship. Yeah. Nice music. We have mods. Temporary modifiers, or maybe not. Maneuver stack. So this is our hand, essentially. And we have three energy, which I have to keep in mind. I can essentially just play three cards right now. I don't know why is this red and the other one not. Only tiles with enemy. It requires positive impetus. Okay. 
We don't have impetus. I need to destroy enemies for that. So this is the field. We have some mana clots. And we can see usually there's all those things going on in the space travel like meteor debris, mana clots, and MP splitters, enemies, and they all move and or attack at certain areas. Even though I have no idea what this MP splitter is doing. Dealing damage attacks down, I guess. Like this clot has a movement up. This one has an arrow down, arrow down, arrow down, arrow down. Move to highlight a tile left right, then move ship backward. Gives us impetus. Move to highlight tile, move to highlight. So also this game in the tutorial made clear our our ship is essentially a weapon. So we want to trade in our points because we are the best way to attack essentially by just ramming stuff. Hammerhead punch, deal three damage forward. Move ship forward. Well, that doesn't really work right now because there's nothing in front. But if we move with a hammerhead turn to the right, let's drag this over. I'm gonna move here. Yep. Oh. Did it work? No, it did not. Let's try this again. Mm -hmm. Hot shot! There we go. Oh, and I moved backward. I forgot. Should have read the card. It's fine. Move to highlight tile. We still have three batteries. I guess because this is a mana clay. Yeah, this gives us energy. It's also harmless. Decays every turn. Move. Yeah. Got it, got it. What if we now move graced move, movement spread? This seems not common. Seems still to be... No, this moves us diagonally and this moves us... Got it. Let's move over here and activate the hammer punch. So we're gonna attack and move forward. Nice. And I guess that ended our turn. Probably because we were out of stuff. We have one Dwarven impetus right now. Okay. We have some fire splitters. Still have Proud Genius, Jump Pile, Show All Unit Stats. Oh, okay, got it. Discard Pile, Press and Turn. We only have these... Why do I only have two cards right now? This is not good. A deal, two damage on highlighted tile, only in tiles with enemy. Requires positive impetus and swap. Well, sure, let's attack here. Nice, and we can move diagonally. Mana Club, that gives us energy. The problem is... It doesn't bring us anything because we don't have any cards to play. So if you move into Meteor Drippy, we will just take some damage, right? Why would I do that? Let's go here then, I guess. Oh, can we see what this splitter is doing? Mm, not much. Huh. Let's just move here, sharp. Oh, okay. We drew cards. I think it's still the same turn. Gain plus one shield, move to an highlight detail. Yeah, let's gain the shield and ram this guy. There we go. Do two damage on the front tile. Well, it doesn't work. Uh, on the back tile, move ship. We don't want to attack the mana clot. Move to a highlighted tile. Hammer punch, move ship forward. What is this? Ionized mana. So this deals two damage and moves to the left. It can't return, does ex exiting the board. So we don't really want to drive in there, I think. So uh, what if we move into this debris? Well, we take damage, break off two times. Okay, that happened. Deal damage on front tile. Damage on back tile, move ship forward. Maybe we want to move. Kind of want to attack the fire split, I think. That's, what if we do this? We ram this, take a damage. That's not nice. Deal on the... What if happens if we attack the mana? Well, not much. We just move backwards. Now we have the hammer punch, but that also doesn't really do much. So we have some scrap. I think that's one of the reasons you wanted to destroy some of those things. But how about we end the turn? Does it seem like I can't really do, make, do anything interesting here? Okay, as you can see, these cards move down and like get combined. The meteor debris is thicker now. Same with the ionized mana. This guy is going to attack the meteor debris. Or move. Not sure. Looks like moving. Not attacking. Same with this guy. He moves to the right. This one moves down. No one's playing solitaire here. Okay. What if I use the shield? There we go. Can move like this. Barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Well, we don't have the energy. Could move up. Well, gotta end our turn. It's not like we can do much there. So just wait. They're all moving. Okay, this guy's trying to get us. There's scrap. What is this now? Mana spark. But this just gives us one energy. 
Okay, highlight. Deal damage. And highlight a tile. Only tiles with enemy. Requires positive MBO. I can't attack this guy, apparently. Because this only attacks left, right. Hug legs. We have fairy riding. Damage on the front tile moves ship backwards. Do I have anything to move right? Yeah, this. There we go. Hammerhead punch! There we go. That feels good. Still two energy. I guess let's move to the middle, because why not? And end the turn. I don't know. More stuff coming. We have Meteor on the left, and we have this guy last turn. Okay, I guess we also, our main objective seems to mostly to survive through everything, through the travel, uh, travel essentially before we arrive at our destination. And maybe destroy some things to gain resources like scrap and stuff. Okay, what if we use hammer turn, gain a shield, move, uh, yeah, then move backward. I don't want to move backward. Mm. I want to destroy this guy. Can I do something there? We shift backwards. I mean, we can move forward, get the energy, and then with a the shield just ram this guy. There we go. I don't think we need to attack the meteor debris, so let's just end the turn, I guess. And use the jump to the next area. All right. We did it. We arrived. Message transmitted in the sector. Anyone interested in a free scrap? I have a full load on a, a full load, and it's hard to maneuver my wagon like this. The queen has a promotion. I need to get there fast. Well, you're not, uh, you are not searching equipment. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I had that idea previously as well. I wouldn't be surprised if this game is a little bit more machine translated because some of these sentences in the game are a little bit weird. But again, keep it in mind, I'm also not an English native speaker. So um, I'm never too sure that maybe that is a lack of my... Um, of my understanding that sometimes I don't get a sentence, but you are not searching equipment. Pretty sure that this is not proper English. Uh, regardless, I want, but if it's a prank, I'll shoot. Well, that's straightforward. Chance to add reputation and scrap. All right. Metal ancestry, guts, gain impetus after using scrap. Chance to gain a hull when collecting scrap. Okay, scrap store up three. So we gain three scrap, new reputation. So that gave us the reputation and scrap, I guess. It wasn't that obvious, frankly, from the dialogue. But sure, what am I supposed to do now? Communications? No signal found. Okay, we have to move again then, right? More jumps to get to the draconian. No inspection. Unidentified signal. I want to go to an unidentified signal. Let's go. Your jump ends, and you hear a second rumble near you. It's an FDC ship, which soon greets you. Just escape a trap. Lucky for me, those da damn dragon mines only explode if they have their batteries full. Damn, they know that, thanks. Mine without batteries equals free scrap. Mine, okay. Yes, and you can blow them up using the fire from the turbines. Chance to add reputation, chance to add reputation, chance to add reputation. Um, I don't know. Damn, didn't know that. Thanks. Sure, now we have a small fixed reputation. Ship's reputation. We're also kind. Twin gnome stamp. Chance 20% per, chance per luck to repair a hull when repairing equip. Ooh, okay. Repairing equip seems just so weird. That's a very weird phrasing. Can I click on this? No. Even though there's a question mark, that's just for the pop-up. Well, if I click it, the leaf moves a bit. That's nice. Communications. No signal found. Well, gotta move forward again then. Merchant's Guild. Unidentified signal. Unidentified signal and a queen of scrap. Uh, sure. Let's go there. Search comp for shops like the Golden Horse. Oh man, two hole. Merchant's Guild. Okay, let's go to the Merchant's Guild. I'm not even sure if I can survive that long then. Whew. I only noticed now that I did the other jump. <laughs> Considering that we are t uh, currently at two ship home, we actually see some damage here on our ship. That's not nice. And apparently my dwarven impetus is in the negative because I passed many turns with some energy left over. Well, that's not nice. Let's do some communications. An SOS message. A meteor fragment entered my mana chute just as I was exiting the jump. Someone please help me. Help by amplifying signal, repeat on, that's very kind. Or give part of your scrap load, that's also very kind, and do scrap. 
I have no idea. Why would I lose crap if I can just be kind? Let's do that. I have no idea. Kind karma generated, repeater on, relaying. Finish communications. That's probably a mistake. Sounds like we will pay for that dearly. Let's activate. Oh, no signal found? I thought there was a shop here. I need to repair my ship. I'm at two ship hole. Oh, no. I thought this Kitsune TV. Unidentified transactions. Mana Guild, Pathfinder Guild, Merchants Guild. I mean, that's kind of where I want to go. But there's Kitsune TV. I have no idea what that means. Oh, man, we're so hurt. Let's try it anyway. Let's go to TV. Hello, hello. Do you have a space problem in the trunk? We have the solution for you. Let's talk. Communications. Want to load more scrap? We have uh, we have perfect solutions for you. The first option is to modify your ship with an automatic adjustment system that guarantees more space for scrap if you have less equip. I don't know. The second upgrade is more expensive and gives less space, but your ship will not pass an a image of swag dealer. Don't have enough credits? You don't have enough credits. Well, uh, close communications then. I, that's kind of the thing. I have no idea what I would have bought anyway. Uh, apparently we are broke. And there we go. Buy Kitsune TV equipment. We can buy an electric charm. Leaves attack of four electric damage. Move to an highlighted tile. Can move. Oh, we really want to repair. Full repair for four scrap. Nice. Try repair, question mark. Fatious repairs. For the cost of a repair, we get a good look at your insides. But no promises. Scrap. Don't know what those do. Okay, okay. So I guess Kitsuno we can repair, which is good, and buy one of these things. Feline Reflex AI. Chance to move ship at random. Chance to gain zero to three hole. Ooh, that sounds pretty good, actually. An exhaust. What does exhaust do again? Can I question mark this? There we go. Exhaust cards don't go to discard pile when used. Place the Kitsuno signature. Meow. Cool. At Kitsuno, the discounted price is the only price. All products come with a one-jump warranty only. Wait, does it mean that's literally just a thing for my next jump? Or is that a joke? Uh, tech after power-up. Deal three electric damage, move forward. Cat's tongue, move ship backward. Random energy costs. Move it and then back. Interesting. Leaves attack of four, move to a highlighted target. Let's buy this. Sure. I hope this is in my deck now. Oh, there we go. Frequent customer deluxe. Intuitive plus one intelligence. Prices at Kitsuno stores are lower by 80%. Nice. Well, doesn't seem like I can buy anything else anyway. 691. I could buy this. Oh, we are in debt. Debt limit minus... Oh, you can be in debt. That doesn't sound good. Generated cursed karma. Lock your ship's keys. Lock the located here. What? Your balance is negative. Consult your options with one of your giant managers. Oh. Oops. Well, let's just get out of here. A mixture of guts and curse shakes the mana of the sector. Did a battle, did a battle take place here? Investigate the wreckage for information and loot. Notify FTC. Vibrate blessing with the ship's shield. Vibrate blessing for the what chance to have reputation blessed earns crap rational. I don't know. I don't even know understand what that means. Vibrate blessing, sure. Now we have this deliverance ship reputation blessed plus one mercy starts jump with blessed jump. Communications no signal. We are still kind of hurt, unfortunately. But we have full dwarven impetus. So I guess we still want to move forward. Mana guild. Let's see if I can make it to the dragon. Pathfinder Guild, 3, 25 units, 33, I have no idea. Let's go. So, let's try another battle. There is all these enemies here. Let's see, what do we have? We have two shields, two hole, which is not too nice. Let's go with the obvious, gain one shield and run this guy. There we go, jump. My could jump. Wait, what? To highlight it random tiles uh, to one of those two. Well, we do have two shields. What is this? Chance to move ship at random, chance to gain zero to three hull. Yeah, definitely the reflex AI. Oh no, it's only shield, it's not hull. Oops. And we're out of mana. Gotta end the turn for now. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, you guys are moving here. What is that supposed to be? Side jumper, okay. We have three shield at least, so we can ram some stuff if we want to. Leaves attack, move to a highlight area. First off, hammerhead punch! <laughs> Chance to move at random. 
Now let's move to the left for now. Let's actually get this guy. There we go. Then we're gonna use our break off, whatever that does. Warning hostile signal just detected. Let's use this fire red to can't move forward, but we can hit this guy. Was obviously not enough, but his battery is uh, battery is empty. So how about we use our fleeing reflexes? We didn't get any shield. Great, that is awful. Um, I think it's over now. Oops. Because these guys are going to run me. I'm at one. I did all the mistakes I could. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Okay. Nope. Zero out of everything. I think it's over. Stuff is still moving. Apparently not. Apparently, whole breach. Damage hit, uh, will hit equipment. Search com for shops like the golden... Okay, seems like we still have a little bit of a chance. Uh, there's base crumbs. Gives us scrap. Let's go with the battery. We need some scrap. We have one shield left. Okay, it's not quite over yet. We still need to move backwards. So random chance. Well, gotta rely on the random chance. At least that filled our shield. That's fine. We can take it. Move into ours. Our shield can take it. Great. What is that? Okay, they're all combining. Side blast. Damage on highlighted tile. Only tiles with enemy. And swap. Sure. Deal some damage. This would move us forward. We want to go backwards, so. Game plus two shields to highlight the tile, then move backward. Yeah, left, duck. There we go. Cool. Let's use our reflexes to gain some shields. Nice. And end the turn, because we're out of mana, and jump out of here. Whew, another round of combat, which I have a rough feeling for. But frankly, the combat seems to be more like, okay, learning by doing, or not necessarily learning by getting teach by the game. Have a bad omen. Rever sick clunkled screwer box family problem. No more crying and moaning. Twin gnome can solve it. What's going to be, buddy? What's going to be, buddy? Huh? Repair Rever skunkles or buy one of our repair kits. Well, I don't have creds. I don't have creds. I don't even understand the question. Close communications. Well, so much for that. Can I? Oh, we have some stuff here, though. Creens sell all scrap. Well, I want to repair. No broken equipment. Currency repair hull for 18 scrap. Oh man, that's almost everything. Just want to see the dragon. Gain plus two shield chance to move ship sideways. I don't know if I should buy some of these cards. Gain plus when shield when moving, selfless exhaust. Hammer swing. Deal four damage forward, requires positive impetus. Move to a highlighted tile backwards. Only in tiles with enemy. Damage bonus with negative impetus. I don't know. Let's just go. I mean, I don't have that much money. I'm in debt. So let's move forward. I just want to see the dragon. Merchant skill could soon on TV. Oh, more come. Oh no, that was just it. Okay, let's move forward. Let's see if I if we somehow can make it to the dragon. Message from the bank. No curse is greater than a negative balance. Renegotiate your debts with a gigant savings now. Accept new rates and renegotiate re debts. A uh, debt, sorry. Changes in reputation. Cursed. Pay now with a dust count, resets bank balance, do scrap. Don't worry, the check is already in the mail. Sweet talk. Rich resets bank balance. I have no idea. Sure. Did this do something? Finish communication generated rich karma. By lying. Well, we don't have any debt anymore. Distance to draconian signal, measurement and power. Yeah, this is where I want to go. Can I repair, please? Oh, this is just for the selling seven scrap or more gets you a free hole repair. Oh, yes! Selling 21 or more gives you a chance to win prizes. Well, we only have 18. Sell all. Wait, can I only sell all? What if I just want to sell like a decent amount? Well, whatever. I want to have the repair, frankly. Oh, that was a prize there. And we're out of scrap. Oh, only one repair, not even full repair. Wow. I feel like I was betrayed here. Attributes and reputation, reputation limit 5-5. Five, five. Can I get out of here? Communications. Okay, 3-3. Three, three. Your chance of something going right, like the chance to win prizes. Well, I want to get to the dragon. Pathfinder skill, merchant skill, queen of scrap, empty sector. No inspection. What does that mean, empty? 33 units. 42, 48. I guess let's take the easier route. I just want to see the dragon. The Merchant's Guild is giving away gift cards worth a, a thousand credits. Limited time offer. Click com to get yours. 
bottom right corner. Sometimes a communication thing opens and sometimes it doesn't need to press it. I haven't really understood the difference between these, frankly. Schmuck. Now your ship belongs to the 100 yokais. We're in full control. If you want to jump again, you have to pay the ransom of your ship idea. You're not searching. You are not searching equipment. I'm an intern. Cut me some slack. Sweet talk. Mana that goes comes back. Guns lose credits. Sweet talk. I mean, always works so far, right? Generating intuitive karma. Finish communications. Uh, sure. Okay, something happened. Repair. Nice. I like to be repaired. Other signals. Um, that is apparently no other signals. Uh, sure. Let's move on and try, I guess, one more and then we're gonna find the dragon or something. Unidentified signal, unidentified signals, pathfinder, I mean, this is the short... I have no idea. 23, let's go. We made it. Also, in the last combat, uh, just by the random chance of the cat AI... I moved into a comet, a comet and took like five damage to the hull, so we're not doing well right now. Draconian signal detected. Contacting FTC High Command. Attention, cadet. Your first mission is to attempt to invade the Draconian mothership. Breaking one of its engines is your way inside, according to our intel. Be mindful that the rear of the dragon is heavily armored and resistant. Multiple attacks are required. Foot off the target, the mothership's engine. This thing. Okay, jump and start missing. Jump and start mission. Okay, we gained at least one hull, I guess. Sure, a little bit of repair. Let's see. It's the dragon's butthole. Okay, there we go. Uh, boss battle time, I guess. Electric charm every turn. Sure. Okay, two hull, one shield, four battery at least. Oh man, we're not doing well. This is what I, what I need to destroy. These are just attacks essentially. Well, hammerhead punch, I guess. Can't go too wrong with that. Nah, I should have tried it against the other things, I guess. Game plus shield move. There we go. Got rid of the mine. You know what? Sure, use the scrap. Just get rid of these guys for now, I guess. There we go. Random three shield and the turn. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Full Tihota. Chance to move ship at random. 56. Or maybe we just gotta survive long enough. The back tile. Sure. Move, and can we now deal damage? BAM! I think I did damage. I mean, visually, there's damage. I think. Don't, where do I see it? I mean, visually, there's damage, I think. Chance to move ship at random. Chance to move, sure. There we go, run this. We're out of stuff. I am could pay some scrap to gain two more shields and go back. Yeah, sure. End the turn. Let's see. Okay, you guys are doing this. I mean, I have to admit, the core gameplay, or the, at least the idea, that uh, you always have this deck of cards that you need to essentially defeat to move forward, or just an, uh, enough numbers, like with this jump pile deck, if this is exhausted, then you can move forward, and so that's an interesting way to approach this. But the game doesn't really tell you, it's more like literally just try and error and trying to understand this. And I feel like I only understood half of it at best. Um, deal one damage and two damage to in front of tiles, move ship backwards. That is mind blast, highlighted tile. Shh, but I wanna I mean we have shields, so let's go over here. Hammer have this thing. I mean the visual tell me that was a good move. Okay, give me a shield and move. Well uh, we only got shield. Front to move ship backwards. Yeah, that's the mine that deals two damage now. Let's go here. Oh, I don't have the superpower. Swap. Oh, this that doesn't count as an enemy, I guess. Yeah, let's run this anyway. We're back here. Okay, end the turn. Let's see. De -de Defense advantage two recharging batteries. Hmm. Your turn. I would like to move up here and use my hammerhead against this thing again. I think that is doing something. I think. Give me this, some shields. Okay, can't do anything else. Okay, looks like I moved backwards. Oh, what's this? Asteroids. That's not nice. Um, no, not here. Move. I mean, sure, let's do our hammerhead. Why not, actually? We have two more left, chance to move. Ah, sure. Ah, it didn't give us any shields, that's not nice at all. 
Move to highlight it, deal damage on two front attacks, move backwards. Oh no, should have done this differently. I guess I'm gonna do this, yeah. Hmm. Now I'm right in front of this again. I'm not sure if I wanna stand there. Hard to tell what's going on. Okay, whatever. Hammer hat and hopefully doing damage to this thing. I mean, visuals tell me I think maybe I'm doing something good. Give me damage, move to a hollow tile. Well, chance to move ship at random. Let's go back and get shields. End the turn. The rest isn't that important, I think. I mean, it does look different with the things and so on. So I think I'm doing fine. So we have three shields. Can we move up? And then use our hammer time. Maybe with a random if we're lucky. Well, didn't do anything. Great. Just wasted two batteries. Attack. I guess that's it for now. Ooh. Well, it does change its look more and more. So maybe that's good. Okay, we're gonna get up. Can move here. Deal damage. Move here and backwards. Break off. We okay, this happens. Chance. Hammer move to be here at least, I guess. And move. But we can only attack to like this. Doesn't work. Oh, it's gonna move. Oh no. Okay, in this case we're gonna move back by paying scrap. Oh. Time's over, I guess. Didn't look too much like a dragon though. Termina uh, terminating re-entry. Contacting FTC High Command. Apparently the mothership of the dragons only stays on one fixed point for a short time. Your mission has failed, but we still have a chance. The draconian signal has not gone very far and you can still reach it. Good luck this time. Receive data and restart the mission. Okay, you have some tr trial, so to speak. Back at the shop. And then we would try again. Now it's like... Yeah, we gotta catch up to the ship. I guess the damage stays... Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a good point and the time for this video to give you my uh, honest opinion so far. I like the idea and overall style of the game, but yeah, luckily it is an early access and I really hope they're going to use it because there's still stuff missing. This game still feels a bit empty, frankly. I, I, I don't know. I guess the biggest problem is the translation, which I and the way it teaches the gameplay mechanics. There's a lot of terms and tags that the game expects you to understand. And it gives you some tools like highlighting text and so to understand these texts and stuff. But in combination with the like subpar translation, it is even more confusing. And maybe some voice acting or so a little warm more music and sounds because it still feels a bit empty between the runs even though there is sounds there is music i don't know it's kind of hard to explain and it's really just yeah not I, I wouldn't even say that there really is a story like apparently we are in space fantasy but go and go get a dragon so to speak i don't know i would like um, to see um, that they would do a bit more with that overall and even though it's early access I'm surprised that the overall con um, content is even though it has launched it's just one out of five currently right now I feel like for an early access there should be a little bit more content like one out of five uh, ships essentially is not really much but yeah the biggest problem I would say which I didn't enjoy was literally just the support translation that needs to be fixed and needs to be polished up. Um, then we need all the more content. I also think from the Steam description, the dragon thing is the only boss enemy so far. But the overall gameplay, I, I, it's hard to say because I feel it's not like I disliked it. It's not necessarily that I enjoyed it. The problem is I, I'm still in this phase. And you guys probably, after I cut this video, you just saw like two combats. I had like six combats or so. Well, like three of the boss fight. Um, and I'm still... And I played the tutorial here in the beginning, which is a separate menu. But yeah, under training, which is essentially like here, okay, you have a few things and the game literally tells you here as well, like, yeah, my pain of fat, you will get the hang of the UI little by little and just figure it out on your own. And I did that a little bit. And even with all of it, I still feel like I haven't fully understood the c combat. I have a rough idea, 
but I still feel like, okay, I don't really know what I'm doing with all the stats and I, my character has some, some roleplay stats apparently and I'm still having all these question marks. And maybe this goes away after having uh, playing a couple of rounds and understanding more into the game. And th but then I feel the con content to support that might not be there yet. So for me, it feels more like, okay, I see the potential, but I personally would wait quite some time to go back into the game. It's not like a dislike. It's just like, okay, I have questions that I can't even answer myself right now. And I might wait a bit. That, is that a proper um, impression now in this first impression video at the end of the video? Please actually tell me if this even makes sense. I'm always very happy to get some feedback on my presentation and my opinion, of course. Please tell me what your opinion is. Maybe I've completely misunderstood some mechanics or so. Feel free. I'm always open for a discussion. I'd like to hear that. If you see differently, if you see the same, um, I'm very happy to hear about all of that. Please consider sharing this video. Please stay awesome. And we're going to see each other in the next video. Truly, thank you for watching and bye-bye.